Man, what a morning. Time to check my stocks. Let's see. Boom, boom. Oh no. What is going on? Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. This one, as you guys can see, is a stock market portfolio update on Tuesday, February 25th. Uh, you guys can see here, uh, this is uh, pretty crazy. It's a pretty crazy, crazy situation right now. The last two days, today, Monday the 24th, uh, pretty, pretty crazy stuff is happening. Um, the Dow has been dropping like crazy. And uh, I expected this to happen, but this is absolutely ridiculous. This is like crazy. Um, if I show you guys right now, jumping right onto this, if I look at all time, I'm only up $98. Last time I checked, two days ago, I was up $312. So if I go to the weekly chart, 5.5% has been lost in the last week. I'm down $225. Uh, yeah, it's been a pretty hectic, crazy week with the stock market this week. I felt like it was about time to do another portfolio update. Uh, all my updates have been when I've been up and the market's been good. Now the market's really bad. The Dow has, like as I just showed you guys, has dropped 1,500 points in the last two days. Everyone's kind of going crazy. I mean, it's pre, it's post-market right now. Market's closed. My stock market portfolio is still moving. Uh, my portfolio was at $4,100 Monday morning. 9.30, it hit the bell. It went to 3900 So it's pretty, pretty crazy. I'm losing all my gains, but I'm still up about $100, so that's okay. Uh, even if I lose my money, that'll be fine because I will have more money next week to invest. Um, and I just wanted to talk about a couple of my positions that have been updated, what the stocks are looking at right now, um, or what they're looking like, the, their prices in this kind of red day, uh, last two days being red. And I want to talk about what I'm going to be doing and why I'm feeling good, uh, despite my portfolio being down $111, almost 3% in this one day today. So taking a look at some of my, por um, some of my portfolio here, the portfolio is basically the same. Uh, the only differences that I have here is I actually have been acquiring more shares of Nike. You guys can see Nike's way down. It was at $100 plus last time. My account says 95. I now have five shares down 3%, $15 lost. I'm really happy Nike's going down. I'm going to be scooping up way more Nike stock now. I know that it's going to go back up, so I'm definitely scooping more of it up. Starbucks still at six shares, except it's way down now. I've lost $50 of about 45, almost 50. Eight and a half percent in this stock is at $82, down 3% in this one stock alone today. Uh, Ford, it was one of those gifted stocks, so I really don't care about Ford. Coca-Cola, also down today, which is really crazy, but I'm still up on the on the position, $25. Disney, way down today, $5. Look, $15 loss of Disney stock this last week. Still on one shares, so that's the same. Then I, a new position actually that I acquired is SPHD, PowerShares S&P 500, high dividend, low volatility ETF. Uh, I bought this stock at $43.31. It's now at $40.83. And if the market continues, it's going to keep dropping, which is a good thing because this pays a really high dividend. You guys can see here, it's coming up 16 cents per share for only a $40 entry. That's not too shabby. So I'm really excited to be buying more of this because it's an ETF, so it's very low risk. That is basically what's changed. I mean, there's not much else except the last and final thing is here, uh, Apple. I actually got access, and I'll be making a video on this, to fractional shares in uh, Robinhood. You guys can see here, just a quick glance, if I went to buy, I can change it from shares to cash, buy in dollars, and put how much cash I want to put in there. Like, I could say $6, and it'll buy $6 worth of Apple. Fractional shares, really awesome. So, put in about, actually, $10 into Apple stock. <laughs> I put in about $10 into Apple stock through fractional shares, and I've lost about a dollar of my equity because of how bad the stock is going. Average cost 319, the stock is at 288. Definitely gonna be buying up more of Apple through fractional shares coming up. Um, that's basically what the portfolio was looking like. I do have eight shares of Coca-Cola now. Last time I talked to you guys, I might've only had five or six, I don't remember. But my point is the portfolio is growing, which is always a good thing. Uh, APLE, Hospitality REIT. Red days, two big red days. I mean, I've never seen this stock be so low. It's at $13.73. Look at that drop. It's really crazy. I've lost $85, 12% in this stock today alone. This is crazy. I have 45 shares. It pays me $4.50 a month on dividends. We're gonna take a look at how this price drop affects the dividend. I'm really interested in seeing and learning how sharp price declines in such short periods of time 
are gonna affect the dividend yields of these stocks, especially these monthly paying stocks, these smaller companies. But I own 45 shares of it, uh, and it's a position that's 15.8% of my portfolio, so it's a pretty big position. And you guys can see here, I'm down a lot of money. I mean, $225 last week, 5.5%, it's only Tuesday. If we could continue like this, I can actually have my portfolio hit the negative again. Second time I've ever had this portfolio that it would be hitting negative. But Here's my plans, despite the fact that the market's in such poor conditions. I am a dividend growth investor. When the markets are down, this is the time that I go in and I scoop up really valuable businesses, really valuable stocks for super, super cheap. And that's exactly where I think Nike's at, that's where I think Starbucks is at, that's where I think Coca-Cola's at, SPHD especially, Apple especially. I'm gonna be able to buy these stocks up for super cheap. The only thing is, I don't have a reserve of capital. I don't have enough money, especially being that I bought myself my first car, to go and invest more money. I'm gonna continue, of course, my $100 a week, so I'm going to have to wait until next week to do my $100. Now, with that said, I'm honestly debating doing an extra $100 this week because I get my paycheck Thursday, and if the stocks are still low on Thursday, I might put in more money because this is absolutely insane. If I can buy something like SPHD, if it's at $35, and it's gonna go back up to 45, I would love to do that because it's a very valuable ETF. Or same thing goes with APLE or Nike or Starbucks. Now, APLE, I don't think I'm gonna do anything with. I'm just gonna hold the position. I do expect it to go back up. If it doesn't, then that's a freaking problem and I lost 80 bucks, but I will probably just sell it off and put that capital towards something a little bit more safe, like maybe some shares in Apple. But we'll see how things go. That is really what this video was about. I just wanted to show you guys, like if I just keep going, look at all this red, it's literally a sea of red. Every stock is down, Dow's down, investors are getting cautious, all because of the coronavirus. That's really all that I wanna to talk to you guys about today. Just give you a portfolio update, talk to you guys about what I'm feeling during this red time, during the Dow losing $1,500 today. Uh, that's just where I'm at. I'm ready to invest more. I'm ready to uh, set sights on, on some stocks and start buying up stocks once I uh, get my paycheck this week. And if I decide to invest early rather than waiting to next Monday, um, it, that's pretty, pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, with that said, guys, thank you so much for being here. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys found this valuable in any way, shape, or form, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. Help this video get trending on the YouTube algorithm. Help me out. Help my channel grow. I'm a small YouTuber who's been making videos for over a year now, and I'm aspiring to help and influence as many people as I possibly can. So please, guys, if you enjoyed or if you find my content and valuable or entertaining in any way, shape, or form, Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, let me know what you guys' thoughts on this uh, two big red days are, and the Dow dropping 1,500 points. And with that said, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all.